Life has been very interesting lately, and what I've found myself doing is bringing my awareness and energy back to myself and into my body. And I know that this is something that I have talked about in previous videos, um, but the interesting thing here is how much it has actually already transformed my life. And it's a matter of being present, right? When we can be present with life and just be there with what is, right? Not getting sucked into everyone else's energy and their frame, their boundaries, right? Because that's their boundaries. Our boundaries are our boundaries. And being grounded in our frame and our boundaries is the most important thing that we can do for ourselves. And it's interesting, too, because whenever I find myself starting to get sucked into or consumed by other people's stuff, other people's energies, their emotions and everything, I just remember what it is that I'm trying to create for myself, which is safety. It's very interesting growing up in an environment where you learn dynamics of being so invested in other people's stuff, right? That you get distracted in your own stuff. And it's very interesting too because what I have found for myself is that I have actually gotten so distracted in other people's things that I have overly involved myself because... When you learn these dynamics of, you know, codependency, people-pleasing, um, I can't be okay unless you're okay, or how you see me or how you feel about me is how I see me or how I feel about me, right? When you learn those dynamics, you learn that it is your responsibility to take on other people's energies and emotions. And of course it's not, but what I have been finding myself, what I've been finding myself doing more recently is just recognizing the space between me and them, right? I, I still feel that there's something off, but I'm also recognizing the space between me and them, right? And uh, from what I understand, from what I've learned, this is called the frame technique, right? Because our frame, right? Our, our self, our, our sense of self, our boundary, it's, 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 it's the frame, um, this frame technique allows you to recognize the space between you and other people. And this can be very challenging for people that are uh, codependent, that are people pleasers, um, that easily get sucked into other people's energy field and everything. And um, it's very beneficial for this point in my life because where I'm at right now in my journey of healing, I need to recognize that I can be okay with myself regardless of what's going on in somebody else's life, right? Um, previously, when I learned, not true, of course, but previously when I learned um, that I was responsible for people's emotions, and again, it's not true, um, I would spend a crazy amount of time and energy trying to fix situations that were never my responsibility to even try to do anything about, right? And it's still very uncomfortable for me to bring my awareness and energy back to myself and just create safety for myself. I, I, I previously thought I knew what was best for everyone. Um, it's strange to admit that, and it kind of hurts to admit that because it's like, um, part of me starts to awaken and fade. Uh, I know that might sound weird, but part of me starts to awaken and fade when I realize these things. Um, I, 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 I kind of, I kind of learned a belief, a belief, <laughs> not, not fact that I know what's best for other people. This, of course, from, comes from um, trust being broken, and then as a result of that, learning dynamics of control, right? Um, trust and control being opposite sides of the same coin, so therefore when trust is broken, you learn and develop dynamics of control to feel safe, right? To uh, control people's perceptions of you. Um, and this is also codependency right here. This is literally codependency 101. People that are codependent, one of the things that they do is 
self-sabotage, self-sacrifice to control other people's perceptions of them. And that's manipulative. Um, that's manipulative, it's controlling, it's not authentic because you're not really being who you are, you're not really saying what it is that you want to say based on what it is that you feel. And um, it just leads to further unhealthy and dysfunctional, unstable and unsafe dynamics. Because if you're not being who you really are authentically, there's a problem there, and that's just reality. So at this point in my life, what I'm doing is, like I was saying before, bringing my awareness and energy back to myself, recognizing the space between me and everyone else in the environment, not taking on energy just because I feel like I need to. The amount of times that I have felt like I've needed to match somebody else's energy, when I never have, the the amount of stress and anxiety and depression and overwhelm that I have unnecessarily put myself through as a result of this dysfunctional dynamic is wild. <laughs> um, this is definitely something that I wish I learned sooner in my life. And, um, and it's also something that I'm just really happy to be learning right now because it's absolutely necessary. Um, I have taken on far more responsibility than I've ever needed to in my life in terms of just trying to fix, rescue, change people, right? Um, it's a trauma response um, based on like what I learned about what my role in people's lives are earlier on. But it's very interesting to be here because I am actually now um, creating a foundation of safety within myself, for myself. And there are still many times that, like, part of me is like, but no, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handle this stuff. You need to step in. You need to intervene. You need to rescue them. And then the part of me, the higher self, that's looking to heal and actualize that, it just basically drags myself away. It's like, just stop. You know how this ends. Um... And I don't know what's best for people. And there are often times where I don't actually know how to fix a situation, even though I think I do, even though the rescuer in me uh, believes with all of his heart that he does. I don't. <laughs> and this is why I need to walk away from situations more often. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, just wanted to explore it and just allow myself to further understand it. And uh, it's just a very, very interesting space of awareness.